It is a play about the essence uh, and the nature of evil in our world and violence. Where does violence come from? Are we essentially violent? Is there something evil? And how do artists react to that? How do human beings react to that? How does a work of art respond? How does a writer or a painter respond? Or are they necessary? It is a complex novel and it has a lot of themes and that's one of them. It's about art, it's about evil, it's about the 20th century. It takes its readers on a huge journey. And it's really about Bolaño's imagination and his mind and his obsessions and his fixations. And he wove out of those fixations and obsessions a kind of portrait of art and madness and violence in the 20th century. Trying to decide, is it a work of literature that can transfer to this stage is, is, is an important beginning part of the process for anything like this. And this one, though, from the first moment I, I started reading it, it seemed to have a theatricality that sparked my imagination right away. And I certainly never go into reading fiction thinking, well, could this be something for the stage? And I didn't on this, but part of it, it has a very unique structure. It's in five parts. Each part has a very different tone. It suggests a different style within the writing. It's a different world. You keep moving into different, very distinct worlds through five parts. And that seemed inherently theatrical to me. And there seemed to be an idea as I was reading it to integrate very early on, the possibility of film and music and, and design. And I also was just intrigued by just, I just thought it was so thematically rich and complex. It, it's a little unusual in that a lot of novels that get adapted are very, very clean, strong narratives, sometimes very simple books that have simple stories, simple characters. This is the opposite. It's extraordinarily complex. The big challenge was how do you make that experience that a reader has work for somebody watching a play. We're trying to translate the experience of reading the novel into the experience of viewing a play. And using all of the techniques and tools we have at our disposal, I think it is an incredibly sprawling book full of hundreds, maybe even thousands of characters. And we've, I think, preserved that sense of scope and ambition and audacity. But what I find actually very very adaptable about the book is that Bolaño, you know, for all of his literary preoccupations and for all of his digressions and, and flourishes, his language is actually very muscular and direct and accessible and funny and actually clean and strong and it plays really beautifully, I think, in the voice of actors. I would also add that uh, while there are all of these characters in this sort of, sort of this sense of a kind of wide vista of a book, there are some very strong characters and some very vivid characters. Once we knew that we had this five-hour piece, that greatly affects how you rehearse the play because clearly it was going to need more rehearsal than an average play would get. It also has a lot of characters. There are 15 actors playing maybe 80 characters. But the big thing was giving it enough rehearsal. So it's had an unusual rehearsal process, meaning it's had a longer time in the rehearsal room. It's going to have longer time for a technical process to add sets, costumes, lights, video components to it. 2666 is really special, really unique, because of the ambition of the project. We come into the rehearsal room every day making work with a wonderful group of actors and a great collaborative group of designers. We think it's going to be exciting and we hope that because we think it's exciting it will be exciting but we know that audiences at the Goodman have come to expect a lot when they come see new work and 2666 is about as new work as you can get. It's an extraordinary journey I think for our audiences.